The previous head of the Air Force had wanted to push the limits to improve diversity. Instead, the RAF ended up discriminating against white men on his watch. It is now time for me to pass the command of the Royal Air Force to Air Chief Marshal Sir Rich Knighton. Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston handed over command earlier this month, so it's been left to the new boss to face the music about a policy that prioritised pushing women and ethnic minority recruits onto training courses ahead of white men. Air Chief Marshal Sir Richard Knighton said the belief at the time was that this practice demonstrated acceptable, positive action. We now know that it did not, and I apologise unreservedly to all those affected. We accept that some men were discriminated against. An inquiry was launched after Sky News last year revealed the then head of recruitment, Group Captain Lizzie Nicholl, had resigned over what she deemed to be an unlawful order. The RAF has now published the findings that prove she was right. Legal advice Group Captain Nicholl sought said that previous recruitment activity to fast-track women and ethnic minorities onto training courses had been contrary to the Equality Act. But the head of recruitment still had to resign to stop it happening again. I've just come out from a briefing in the Ministry of Defence with the new Chief of the Air Staff. He talked us through the content of the report. He said it makes pretty uncomfortable reading. He said the Air Force is determined to learn lessons. But he also said that nobody is being held responsible for what happened. No one is facing disciplinary action, even though the RAF broke the law. The Defence Secretary said the RAF had made a significant error. I also think that the treatment of the officer who raised concerns uh, and her very genuine uh, worry is being ignored was something that is, needs to be looked at considerably about why uh, she was ignored. The former head of the Air Force has admitted mistakes were made but previously denied any unlawful activity. Some of what you said in your opening remarks implied that there were different standards applied that there was active discrimination against uh, you know, uh, you know, people who, you know, uh, uh, white men. Um, but that was, that, was, that was not the case. Air Chief Marshal Wigston may have stepped down as head of the RAF, but he probably won't be able to step back from the fallout. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.